What's it good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time we got Falling in Reverse. Uh, we have Alone. Like I, we were just discussing in the live stream. I uh, Falling in Reverse. I checked out their first album. I loved their first album. This one came out, and I didn't really listen to it. I always thought that I uh, he fired the guitarist Derek Jones. Turns out. Derek Jones passed away. That's why I stopped listening to Falling in Reverse because the guitar just didn't sound the same. I didn't I didn't check out the story behind it and why it sounded different. So I am very intrigued to check out uh this like more of Falling in Reverse now that I have that information. I didn't before I just thought Ronnie Radke was a dick and fired the guitarist. Now I know that he actually passed away and Ronnie Radke's not a dick and fired his guitarist. Um, so let's check out Alone. Uh, I know one other song off of this album, uh, Bad Girls Club. I do really fuck with that song. Uh, but uh, let's check out Alone. We got the music video. Let's hop into it. I know this song. I know this one. Oh, it's been fucking years since I've listened to it, though. And people fall fell in love with MGK. <laughs> like, I like MGK's hip hop stuff, but when he when he crossed over, he became a sellout. Like, this is the dude staying true to like what he wants to make, and he's bringing other genres into what he wants to make. So I can I can respect the fuck out of that. So many motherfuckers wanna be like me. I came from the lowest of lows, rose to the top with the vision. My haters talking shit while washing dishes for a living. Fuck you bitches, I'm a business. I be kissing on your missus. What you spend in 15 months is what I spend in 15 minutes. Oh, don't give a fuck about you. You really fucking motherfucker. Ain't no doubt that you can tell. I don't I don't know about that, but it doesn't sound entirely bad and it it hasn't aged poorly. Do his work straight up hustling grinds. So many people mad at me for crossing the line. I, I, I find it kind of funny to see you say in your tweets. But when we're face to face, you ain't got nothing to say to me. Oh, this is the end of everything that I know. 
he couldn't he couldn't have achieved that to early 20 teen sound without sounding like t-pain a little bit you know he, like he, he couldn't have infused the hip-hop with it if he didn't if he didn't bring in the t-pain sound that next girl upsets no doubt i'm on top of the world break your net i'm on that next girl upsets no doubt i'm on top of the world so break your net You didn't need that. <laughs> I I gotta respect the hell out of the fusion of genres and everything. There were some parts that were like, yeah, you didn't need that. But as a whole, I I dig the song. I dig the song. Um I just There was just some parts where it, I don't think I, whether it it didn't age well or it just it was kind of cheesy whatever the, it was a cool it was a cool experiment I I don't think this whole album sounded like that um I don't know if it's something he revisited in the future or something but it was it was a cool experiment it was a cool thing to try um you do hear some you do hear some guys uh, doing this like in hip hop today, trying to bring like the screamo, uh, heavy metal stuff into, uh, into hip hop. It doesn't always work. Some guys are better at it than others. Uh, it is definitely something that's not for everybody when it is, uh, when it is done, but anybody who does their own thing, I can respect that. Uh, and there are plenty of falling in reverse, uh, songs that I absolutely love. This one, I wouldn't say I absolutely loved it, but I wouldn't say it's a bad song. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Big shout out to everybody checking us out over on Patreon, on TikTok, during our live streams here on YouTube and on Instagram. We'll catch you at the next one. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your night. Peace.